But let's bring on board Samir Arora and find out what he's making of the market right now. Samir, hi, good morning. Good to have you on the show as always. I think first yeah. things first, everyone just wants to know what your conversation with Ray Dalio was all about. <laughs> Actually, I... You know, I didn't tell him that I had read the book, which is okay. an expose on him. I only told him I read these books on uh, principles and the, and then I told him that the book on cycles was a bit complicated. And there was another person with him who he said only a bit. So I said, no, I was being 30 years. It's very complicated. <laughs> so I had not met him before and uh, it was just a chance encounter at the airport. And what a pleasant one. No Taylor Swift conversations because no, no, actually, that's what everyone <laughs> wants to know. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But it's just that I do, you know, I get to meet all these guys sometimes just like this. Yeah. But it's not that some of them, like Paul Tudor Jones is a bit of my friend, but others are, you just meet them at some place or the other. But you have to, first of all, instantly recognize them and yeah. then instantly <laughs> bring them. That's all. That is a highlight more than anything else. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And then be a bit shameless in asking for a photo. Th that you mastered, I'm sure, by now. <laughs> because, you know, many of these fund managers, you know, they all think that they are big heroes. So they are shy in some sense. I am not shy. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not shy for sure. But anyway, here's to more chance meetings. Uh, but uh, what's what's with the market right now, Samira? And, you know, we were just looking at uh, the data points. It's been a very slow grind, but the small cap index nonetheless has fallen 10% from its peak. You think there's more to go? Which is, which is not a lot and it yeah. has to be more. If you look at it, that what happened in 2018. So I just uh, on a Bloomberg saw two, three days ago, what was the performance of the mid cap and large cap and all these indices from say December 2019, go back 10 years. So go to 2009, December or something. And in those 10 years, you will see that small caps had actually maybe slightly underperformed the large cap indices, even though there were two big uh, phases where small caps did very well, which is 2014 and 2017. If you end all these things at the end of 2017, it looks, wow, small caps are doing so well. And then one year comes 2018 and everything goes away. Bottom line is that it has never been the case anywhere in the world that small caps systematically beat the large caps by maybe more than half, 1%. Even that is not easy. So whenever the outperformance is 15, 20% a year in some phase, you know that by the time the cycle is over, it has to go away. Because the only difference between this round of uh, small caps and previous years is because of the kind of buyers that is the absolute uh, retail guys. Because I see on Twitter, because you know Twitter things that I follow all these things, so they give me related content. Is that people say, "Oh, this is only twenty p, so how can it be expensive?" <laughs> this is what they've been used to that a 20p is supposed to be very, very reasonable for unknown small companies getting a 100 crore order from somewhere where they'll make maybe 2 crore profit. All these things are, they have to give up. There's nothing they can do. Some excuse will be found by the market to correct.